Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. allegedly. Hello, it's time for today's Hot Topics. According to the Jasmine brand, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend to guest star on The Simpsons. Who the hell is still watching The Simpsons? I, I loved, loved that show when I was growing up. But honey, I ain't found a fuck in a minute. Anybody peeping at it? Is it still good? Y'all gonna look at it with these guest stars? Ch I forget that shit on. The Simpsons has 31 seasons, so it's five years younger than me. So I don't really remember a world without The Simpsons. And Niecy Nash will be on Family Guy. Now that I want to see. I, I loved Family Guy, and that does inspire my, oh my God, I can't believe he said that comedy. But I ain't watched that in a minute either. Rapper Blueface said he slept with a thousand women since January. I'm glad he's telling you, me, and the CDC. <laughs> Oh my God, ooh. So you're just a cornucopia of STIs, STDs, and STUs. I mean, we know you got the lump and bump with a humpy slump. And in other gross news, they say an Empire spinoff is still a possibility. Let me tell you a little something. There already was an Empire spinoff. It was called Star, starring. Those girls, those girls. They're only getting a TV movie for a comeback. If you want an Empire spinoff, use what you've got. Bring back my girls, those girls. But Sissy Smollett will not be returning for a spinoff or anything else. This season on Empire, he'll be away on his honeymoon for the entire season. That's plausible. Well, actually, wait, Empire is getting a season and Star is getting the TV movie. I can't wait for that TV movie. But yeah, do you want to see an Empire spinoff? Y'all didn't want to see Star, so I, I don't think you're going to want to see an Empire spinoff. Like Usher, I think you need to just let it burn. And then apply an antibacterial salve. Or I, I don't know what you do for the lump and bump, because I ain't got it. In movie news, James Earl Jones is returning to Coming to America. Child, all these remakes, he like, fuck it, I'm getting out of retirement. Kiki Lane, Leslie Ross, and Rick Ross. Rick Ross, oh God. Now Rick Ross acting. You know what, give 50 Cent a run for her money. So with Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall reprising their roles, are you interested in Coming to America too? What do you think the storyline's going to be? And in, oh, I forgot about you news, singer Michelle A is returning to reality television. Oh God, she gonna be on marriage boot camp. I didn't even know the heifer had a man cause you can't be on there whining about Suge. Girl, if they got her on here with freaking phone calls from Suge. <laughs> ah! I can see it. That's the face you make when you don't, when you're like, is my mic on? Child, they need to bring back R&B Divas LA so we can get her a check. But now let's get to today's hottest topic. So Jason Lee caught my last episode of the Allegedly Show, well, one where I was talking about him, how narcissistic of him. But uh, he enjoyed it. So shout out to, well, him and me. So he can definitely take a joke because I was like, oh, oh, I, I went back and listened and I was like, damn, I, I went in. And I mean, now that like I know he's watching the show, I can't like apologize for calling him a loose booty troglodyte because I said those words and I have to stand by them. And I do. I do. I mean, he does give me a bottom tee. He gives you a bottom tee. Well, you know what? I could see verse. I could see verse because he gives me a greedy tea too. And not just because he's as big as a refrigerator and eats everything in one. 
But uh, I actually meant to do his new uh, Hollywood Unlocked interview today, and it just so happened I got the comment that he had watched my review of his old um, Breakfast Club interview. So let's let's get to the roast. Okay, why the hell do you have a coat on? It cannot be that cold in the studio. It makes you look like a stove. You have it on to hide your stomach, don't you? It's not working. Girl, your hair is plastic. What is this? What what is what is going on here? Why why is it like like a, um like speed racer's hair? Honey, no. Shit looks like a plastic yarmulke. Child, he created his own award show because MTV wouldn't let your ass in the VMA Awards. That is a good question. Why? I mean, that's where your Z, B, and F list celebrities like you shine. Oh, child, he got to deal with iHeart. Let me call their ass so I can get one, too. We do different things, so don't worry. I ain't going to step on your toes. I'm funny. You get the tea. There's a difference. And I like that, too. I never got to break tea. I never got to bring y'all new stories. I could just joke about the old shit. That's the difference between talent and tea. Oh, oh, so we find out Charlemagne was the one that made the phone call to iHeart and that got Jason Lee nationally syndicated. Pop Rose needs to be syndicated. I mean, shit, we on YouTube, we everywhere anyway. We just need a sponsor, a sponsor, like Tierra Marie. So Jason Lee, troglodyte with the tea, lets us know that Antoine Fuqua has sent him a cease and a sissy. Well, you know what? If you would stop fucking around on your wife, Sissy Lee wouldn't be bothering you. You know why Sissy Lee ain't bothering me? One, I ain't famous, and two, I ain't cheating on my wife. I really cannot understand this damn outfit. I know you have to be hot. It's about 568 degrees in New York City. <laughs> what are you doing? You walked out of that studio and just exploded. So he talking about love and hip hop and apparently Big Fish is producing Hollywood. I thought it was um, Shed Media or Monami, but apparently it's Big Fish. And he said the bag was right. So then why wasn't it right for Tierra? Why is Tierra getting 5,000 an episode? And what are you getting? What's a right bag? Inquiring minds want to know. I think they're giving him KFC, because he's a little bit famous, but I think they're giving him a $5 fill-up card. Maybe two. So twice a month, you're swinging through KFC, and that's the right bag. All right. All right. He might even get an extra side. I I'll give him that. He give me a coleslaw tea. Well, he said it best is for full free press and promomo. He like, shit, they putting up Hollywood Unlocked. I can get my brand out there. And a side of coleslaw. I'm winning. I'm winning. All right. So he's going to be giving us a lot of his I Heart journey this season. Well, you know what? At least it's somebody with a fucking business rather than somebody in a studio with music that never comes out talking to you, JoJo Dancer. <laughs> oh, my God. The troglodyte with the T's DMs have dried up. After he put Sissy Smolyehu's business on blast. Your congratulations. You played yourself. I mean, I don't know what's worse. Fucking you or fucking Sissy Smolyehu. Because, you know, it's you and then it's a crazy liar. There's not really much of a difference. Oh my God. Tristan got Jason Lee kicked out of a party in Europe. Carrie Hilson's ex-boyfriend was throwing a party and Tristan was there. And the second he sashayed in, he pulled security. He said, uh-uh, honey, uh-uh, get him. A messy price for a messy life. You out here dating people with four figures. Guys out of prison or rappers, no, st oh, Lord. That's why I said your booty was loose. And now you done proved me right. Oh, he's been hanging with Wendy, talking with Debmar. Child, go on, get your show. Shit, I know I want one. Oh, God, he's going to be giving us his personal life and family. Uh, that's not why I tune in. That, I tune in to watch you all fall down the stairs of life. I'm not here for the humanization of Sissy Lee. So you can keep that, keep that. So we end the interview with him flirting with one of the, um, one of the people that work there. And I'm not surprised because only someone that tacky would try to pick up someone during an interview. Well, that was it. That was it.
Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, Allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly. 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 So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.